Hey guys, this is Wayne again, and I have a, a video. It's a response to um, a question. Uh, Jamie, uh, Janie, I believe, is having a problem uh, with uh, Abyssal Pro Heat. So um, I'm hoping that this video would do a lot better than me just kind of typing on the keyboard and explain a few things. Uh, so I'm assuming that it's Abyssal, uh, and if any one of you are having this issue, this can help, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that it's Abyssal Pro Heat uh, uh, a pet that, that you wrote in, in, in the comments and uh, not Abyssal Pro Heat 2X or not Abyssal uh, Pro Heat 2X Premier or Essential or something like that um, or even the Abyssal Pro Heat Revolution, right? So I'm, I'm kind of going based off of the limited information I have. I'm assuming it's just the Abyssal Pro Heat. Now the Abyssal Pro Heats are going to have um, the basic tank. This is like one of the kind of tanks that, that they have, but something similar to this. So what you can do, if you're having problems with suction, the first thing you wanna do is check the unit itself. So you're gonna take the tank off the unit, okay? And there's a port uh, that you can just turn the unit on and put your hand over the port to see if you have suction from the motor, okay? So now, now we eliminate that part. We have suction from the motor. The next step is uh, to check your filter Okay, which is uh, right, let me bring it a little bit closer. This is a dirty tank, but <laughs> uh, check this filter to make sure and just pop it out and make sure you don't have a bunch of lint and things like that here. If you do, that could be stopping your suction. Okay, now, so process of elimination, right? Uh, check your seals, make sure you don't have any warp. Some people use hot water and that can warp the, the plastic. Okay, so if this is sealed off, fine. Reinsert the, the, the tank. Uh, in, in a motor, and now you're gonna check down the the nozzle. Okay, uh, let me give me a second, right? Let me grab uh, one of these units uh, so you can see what I'm referring to. This is similar to this is a this is a power lifter, but it's similar to the Pro Heat in design. Okay, so uh, so after you check, the port would be right. Ah, let me turn this over. Okay, get a little closer, 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 closer. All right, so you check here, like suction, good. All right, next, you're gonna put this, put your shampoo back in after you check for warps and anything else, and now you kind of wanna see what's happening down here. Make sure there's no gaps, no, no cracks or anything like that. Make sure this is on secure, and then see if that fixes your problem, all right? If that doesn't, then yeah. You, you may have something else happening there, okay? Uh, now, <clears throat> that's for the Bissell Pro Heat. Now, for the Pro Heat 2X, you, ha you have a similar issue, okay? This is a 2X right here. Uh, the first thing you would do, okay, is you would check your suction, turn the machine on, check to see if you have suction here, and now the next thing is gonna be your tank, all right? Either the suction is escaping, through one of these, see if there are any cracks or anything like that. And, uh, or you know what you can even do? Get a, a little tissue paper. <clears throat> and when you turn your unit on, kind of, believe it or not, move that, like touch the tissue paper around the seams and see if it kind of pulls in, all right? Because it's very light and a little bit of suction can, can pull something like a tissue paper in. So just kind of like tap it around and see if it, if it just gets sucked into that area okay so that you're checking for cracks uh, but what i would do um even before that is check here check your check your filter to see if that's uh see if that has a whole bunch of carpet fibers and that that could be clogging up your suction fair enough so so these things here and this this will just stop your suction right away like if it closes like right away. And if I, if you find that it's a problem, like you're really having an issue with this, okay? Um, that it keeps closing for, for no reason, try it maybe just for one shampoo session to take out this cap here. This, this pops out, um, you know, just be careful because sometimes the, the, the stuff is brittle. So you can get like a, a flathead screwdriver or whatever uh, and just kind of, Pry it out, just pop it out, and then and then see if you have that same problem. The only thing with this is that this does protect you from overfilling your tank and getting water into your motor. So you're gonna have to be very mindful 
Uh, you may you may have to even let me show you what I'm talking about in a, in a, in a real floater. Uh, you see this little this little mechanism right here. This will keep going up and up and up as water fills up in the tank. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> as water fills up in the tank, right? And then it will force close the, uh, the flap, okay? So let's say the moment you put it on, the flap is closing. Uh, either something else is happening here. Either maybe it could be uh, reversed or something. Uh, but try shampooing without that. Uh, and if and if you find that that works and you don't want to have to put the flap back on or whatever, then what you're going to have to do is put like a marker on your marker line so you know that when the water gets to this level, I'm going to stop. Okay? I'm not going any further. Here it is. Actually, they have a line here. It says full. So you can just kind of go all the way around with this line. Because while you're shampooing, you're not looking at the front of this thing. But you can glance over the side easily to see if that water reaches that line that you put here. Uh, and, and, and that's for these two particular machines, that's where my advice would be for the Pro Heat and the Pro Heat 2X. Uh, if you need another uh, video for, for a different shampoo or like the, the Premier or the Essential or Hoover or somebody else, uh, then let me know and I'll, I'll find a way to get that video up. Hope this helps. Uh, but I just I just read the uh, the comment this morning and I said, man, it's probably best I just made a video instead of just typing out uh, some instructions, okay? So uh, until next time, all right? Wayne from Monroe Vacuums and Supplies in Monroe, North Carolina. Uh, see us sometime if you're in the area, if you're passing through. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll talk to you next time. All right, bye-bye.